hello party people happy monday when i film my morning routine morning routine i'm really trying to do a good one these days it literally feels like it takes me eternities to do it and then tomorrow i'm like Ugh, i don't want to do it because it felt like it takes so long but i also just had some extra things to do this morning anyway i'm making some coffee i'm finishing my hydrant as i make my coffee i am so thirsty the past like three days i have been so thirsty all day but i have this really bad problem where i do literally nothing about it i drink water and i eventually switch over to hydrants because they just make me feel a lot better i'll talk about them more in a little bit i also went to this bougie grocery store near me that is so expensive i literally got strawberries and pistachio milk which was the punchline of what i was about to say and like two other things and it was like 36 dollars what the hell sorry if you hear my washer it's so loud also i slept horribly last night because i i think my neighbors were just being loud i couldn't tell if it was like above me or next to me i don't think there's anyone next to me so it must have been above me but it sounded like it was coming from literally like inside my closet and i kept waking up and being like is this the night that I die? Like, I don't know. It was weird. Thank God I didn't. Anyway, in this expensive grocery store, I got pistachio nut milk. And I'm going to do lattes with that later this week once I finish my oat milk. And I'm very excited for that. Also, I am just beyond obsessed with orange juice these days. But this happens like once a year. I will go into these phases where I'm just obsessed with orange juice and I'm just in that phase right now. That's why I also went to the bougie grocery store so I could get the orange juice. Apologies for what my hand literally just did. I was going to close this, it's like a cabinet. I was going to close it, but then I was like, no, I don't want to do that. God, I really need this cappuccino. To my left, I have Stride at Home importing and I'm gonna edit that in a little bit, which you guys will see. I feel like I show that in a lot of vlogs because I tend to record a lot on Mondays which I'm trying to switch up this week. Anyway, um, but today um, I'm trying to structure my week a little bit different. I'm trying to do stride stuff on Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And I'm trying to do more of my creative social media stuff on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So like planners specifically, um, cause I really want to get those planners done like this month and into the print shop by February. So yeah, I'm structuring my days like that Tuesday, Thursday, like creative social media kind of stuff. And then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday stride stuff. So I'm in like a testing phase right now of my planners. So I printed out like my sheets and stuff. Um, I created these pages myself and I'm also in collaboration with Emma. Um, who is a designer and she is amazing. I'll leave her at down below and it's on the screen as well. Okay, so pretty much this is just a weekly, like a week at a glance. So this will come before all the daily spreads, but just a week at a glance, planning your meals at a glance, and then weekly goals, workouts of the week, book of the week, and a habit tracker. So these are stapled together right now because it's not like binded together, but this will be the left page and this will be the right page so picture it like that so each day has two pages and so the left side of the page is more so like gratitude based and journaling based so it's where you write down like your morning routine through acts of self-love intentional content things you're grateful for people you send love to um, personal affirmations and then a health log so where you track your water what you eat for the day what you do as a workout i call it movement in here and then at the end of the day there's like a daily reflection so it's kind of like five minute journal meets planner and then on the next page is like your career if you're a student that's where you put all your work stuff like that um like a career page i also want to come out with a student planner so but you can totally use this if you're a student obviously as well i just have the word career written down which i'm not even sure if i want to keep it there because i don't want it to be too exclusive but i also feel like career instead of work is just a better word and it's more driven so i i don't know i'm figuring it out so then you have like three career affirmations and then your agenda for the day today's top three which you curate from the career to do personal to do and appointments and then like a brain dump so you have that for all the days of the week i think on saturdays and sundays i'm going to 
do like Saturday on one page and Sunday on one page. So it'll be like left Saturday, right Sunday. And then you're gonna be brought to the left side, which is the weekly review. And in the weekly review, you're pretty much just gonna say, it's just prompts and you're just going to like reflect on your week what what went well what didn't what you can improve on stuff like that and then the right side will obviously be your week at a glance and then it just continues like that until the till it's over what i'm getting at is that i'm testing out my planner pages this week um so that i can see what works what is totally useless what is incredibly useful and what am i missing pretty much what i'm doing today is i'm vlogging um, I have to do a bunch of admin stuff for Stride, um, just check a couple of things, do a couple marketing things like a newsletter for our challenge. I teach tonight at 5.30, so I have to make a playlist for that. I have to edit the Stride at Home videos. I have to schedule last week's Stride at Home videos. They're uploaded. I haven't like put thumbnails to them yet. And I have a bunch of emails to do, and then I have laundry going. Um, I imagine that this won't take me all day but if for some whatever reason it does and i won't do anything else but if it doesn't take me all day and i still have some steam left in me i will get to work on some of my wednesday to do stuff which is also stride stuff Right now, oh my god, make a wish. I wish to not be stressed out. I don't know, I'm not even stressed out, but I feel like I should always wish for that. So right now I'm editing um, Stride at Home, and it's going really well, having a great time doing it. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. I switched my laundry as well, and that's it. I just felt like I had to check in, because I haven't talked to you in like two hours. Two, one, one. Come on, push yourself. So damn good. It's now noon and I'm going to make, I guess breakfast. Um, I don't mean to fast, but lately I just haven't been hungry until about noon every day, but that's not intentional. Like if I get hungry at 8 a.m., I will eat at 8 a.m. But I've just learned over the years, the best thing for me to do is listen to my body and block out all the noise that comes with diet culture, Instagram, even like diet podcasts, like health and nutrition podcasts. I just have to cancel it all out because it's confusing to be honest. And I'm so done with being confused about food and what I wanna eat and what time I should eat and it's, it's too much and honestly, I am in, I feel like the best shape of my life and I've completely stopped tracking, caring, letting it consume my thoughts. I've just been and I just eat when I'm hungry. I stop when I'm full and I eat whatever I want. This is what I'm doing today. Anyway, could change every day. Quarter cup of oats with a little bit of flaxseed and chia seeds. And I'm going to put that in the microwave. I like to have a little bit of oats underneath yogurt and fruit because it just gives me a little more grit to it especially because i'm teaching tonight i want to carve up a little bit before i teach this breakfast has been my favorite lately it's very filling and i feel really good as i eat it that is my breakfast we have the oats over here the yogurt over here and then the berries on top and it is so good it's my favorite breakfast right now it's delicious it's very filling very satisfying and yeah very yummy I'm absolutely flying through my to-do list today. The last thing that I have to do stride related is make my playlist for my 5.30 class tonight. And once I get done that, I'll probably start dipping into my Wednesday to-do list just to knock that out because right now, Wednesday is a busy, busy day. The hardest part about making a playlist is I never really know my vibe until it's there. You know what I mean? Like. The vibe will create itself. I'm in a white ghost. Get, I'm a 
I really like how the playlist turned out. Um, it took me an hour to make, which I think is pretty average. Um, it takes me anywhere between an hour to, I'd honestly say two hours. I watched a video the other day and they said, an artist never finishes a painting, they just abandon it. That's kind of how I feel like with my playlist. Like, I could always keep going with it, but I just gotta walk away at a certain point. Anyone that takes my classes, either in person or on Stride at Home, probably knows that I'm just obsessed with like a couple of songs and I always put them back in, but I don't know, I just can't stop. I just really love them. So now it's 1.30 and I'm just waiting for my laundry to kind of finish up. So I have some free time. I think I'm going to just start doing some other stuff. I'm on like a roll right now, so I kind of just want to stay in this flow. So maybe this is a good time to talk about today's sponsor which is Hydrant. So as I just mentioned, the sponsor of today's video is Hydrant. Thank you Hydrant for sponsoring this video. Seriously, I am really excited to have you guys be my first sponsor of 2022. I really like the flavor of something else other than water because I literally never hydrate myself enough. Like I said, I am always thirsty. Like I wake up absolutely parched in the morning because I just never drink enough water, but the taste of water alone to me is really boring. So I normally put in like Crystal Light. You guys also might know Liquid IV. The thing with Liquid IV is it just, it's really sugary and Crystal Light doesn't have added hydration. And Hydrant I found is like the best product out there because it adds a ton of hydration and it doesn't have any like artificial sweeteners. It also balances your electrolytes and it gives you like more of a boost in hydration while making your water taste really good. What I also really like about this is that it doesn't have like an overwhelming taste so I can take this into spin class with me because it has three times the electrolyte of a regular sports drink so I get really replenished from all my electrolytes that I sweat out and I sweat a lot in spin as you guys will see tonight so having this with me is just amazing. And these are also just designed to hydrate you longer and faster than just water alone. And it's made with real fruit juice powder so there's no like artificial flavorings in it. It tastes really, really delicious. I have the blood orange flavor which is my personal fave and what I like is that they have just like these little packets so I will put a lot of these in my gym bag and a lot of the girls at the studio really like these too so I'll just hand them out to a lot of the girls there and we kind of just all sip on these they make us feel really hydrated like we can run for a lot longer in class which is super important and they taste really good too but it's not overwhelming that like when you're so thirsty all you want is like ice cold water this is just like a hint of flavoring and it's absolutely delicious like for example this one pack has 25 calories and only four grams of sugar liquid iv has tons of sugar so yeah i really love these you guys will see me use them tonight as i get ready for spin as well but i just want to thank hydrant again for sponsoring this video um i'm gonna have a code listed down below in the description box also with the link of where to get hydrant if you guys want to please show lots of love and support to our sponsor today and i'm just so grateful that they are the first sponsor of the year and yeah i'm gonna have a link and a code down below to get some money off for some hydrant products for yourself Yes, it is. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You have a great rest of your day. You too. Bye. And we are going to be done for today. The new Salt Lake was on last night, and I'm not missing that. That is like my thing on Mondays. When I eat lunch, I watch Housewives of Salt Lake, and it brings me so much happiness. You guys are really getting all of it today, aren't you? You know what, I probably should have pat my salmon dry, but I didn't. So whatever. Mm mm. So good. Sometimes I can't believe I dyed my hair dark. <laughs> like, thank God I did. Because the blonde, honestly, is just not it. Like, don't get me wrong, it was it. Okay, this is not, this is not it. But it was time to move on. Whatever. I talk about my hair way too much. I don't know. Speaking of hair, I don't know what I want to do with my hair in skin tonight. So I could just do like this moment. Let me just experience it. Hang on. Okay. So I could do like this moment, which I think is like cool girl. Like cool, you know, like cool girl spin instructor i'm a cool girl 
Or do I want to do a French braid? Like a single one down my back. Okay, Tori, this just to get the vibe check. Just a vibe check. Just a vibe check. Clearly a vibe check. Okay, is this the vibe? No, that is not the vibe. You know, I'm 23, almost 24. I cannot believe I'm almost 24. And high ponies are... You know what? It's a move. But I think I want like a mid pony. Everyone in literally the world has this scary fact about them, but it's crazy when you put it into perspective. When the pandemic started, I was literally 21 years old. I just turned 21 and now I'm going to turn 24 in a couple of months. So it's a little scary. Oh, I hit my step goal. I did nothing. Okay, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of moisturizer just so my face looks at least like plump instead of just so pale. This is the best for working out Victoria's Secret teas. It just smells so girly and so good and very cute. Definitely young, but whatever. My house smells like salmon. Um, what else was I just about to say? I don't remember. Oh my god, my camera battery is dying. You did everything today except charge your camera battery. Oh, girl. Okay, now we're gonna leave my hair down. Girl, what is wrong with you? Well, this class is being recorded for Stride at Home, so you guys can buy it if you guys want to spin to it um but i'll just bring my phone and i'm just gonna record on my phone because my camera's dying with double go So I'm going to wash that off and then I'm going to head downstairs and um, go for my walk. And I also just really want to watch the Pretty Little Lies episode. This is my gym outfit. Some days I want to look cute, but that's just not today. So this is um, actually an alpha t-shirt when I was at Bama. Um, so that's that. These are Free People biker shorts. I forget which ones these are, but they are super comfy. Um, these are Nike Air Maxes. And then I'm wearing like a really old Forever 21 sports bra. Just whatever I can find. Um, my hair's back in a claw clip because I just didn't want like an indentation from a ponytail or even those ponytails um, that say they don't make indents make indents. And I don't know if I sweat. This is like the way the sweat least dis distribute, distributes, distributes, dis distributes, distributes, whatever. Okay, let's go to the gym. Once again, it's our coffee time and our coffee talk. Um, I did not feel like doing my little matte Pilates. Um, it was a 11 minute power plank series. I hate planks, like they are the bane of my existence. So I did like three, no, let me give myself more credit. I did five minutes of that. And then I was like, you know what? Then I did a 10 minute arm series and the whole time I was like, I can't wait for this to be over. Um, but I did do a walk and the walk felt really amazing this morning. So loud, please excuse that. 
Today is Tuesday, which means it is my creative day, which I'm excited for. I have a training for stride at 11, but it's virtual, so that rocks because I don't have to go anywhere. I can just do it right here. All right, watch this really cool shot. I got my cappuccino and my orange juice. Let's go over here. All right, the first thing that I have to do this morning is um, upload all of those videos to Stride at Home. So the vibe today is gloomy. It is gloomy, rainy outside, and the best part of today is that I don't have to leave my house. Sorry, but that like lights me up inside. I love not having to leave my freaking house. I love not having to leave my house. It's the best thing ever. Um, let's see what we have to do today. Day two of using my planner pages and I absolutely loved it yesterday. Um, I actually need to fill in my habit tracker. Oh my God, yesterday I checked off everything on my to-do list. That is amazing. So let's see, what do we have to do today? Today, today I wanna get like literally all of my planner pages done. I have the monthly, the weekly and the daily and now i just want to do the beginning and the end um so like some exercises in the beginning some verbiage some language and then like a year in review slash all that sort of stuff so i just want to finish like the planner flatline today and send it all to emma um piece it all together send it to emma i also want to get my personal content calendar like secured down i've been having a lot of fun on like instagram with reels and even on youtube i've been posting a little bit more um, so I really just want to get that. I kind of want to just get some structured stuff on my calendar for that for Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, on Thursday, I have a podcast that I'm very excited to have the guest on and I just need to prep that, send her the link and make sure that my audio is good for that. Um, and then I just want to do some admin stuff. Like I want to update my YouTube description box and channel art. And, um, I need to check in on some of my affiliate links and make sure that like I have like all the tax information for that. Um, and then personal to do, I need to cancel and mail um, my memberships to gym. I belong to two gyms right now and I mean, they just collect my money and I started doing therapy. So I'd rather like cancel my gym memberships to like pay for therapy. Does that make sense? So they like cancel one another out. So I'm not paying for both, especially because I own a gym and also because I have a gym in my apartment downstairs. So I don't need to go to a gym anymore. And then the last thing is I need to fold and put away my laundry. The way that I do my planner is, um, I just create things in my mind and then I write like a list of things that I need changed and I send that to Emma for her to create certain things. Like, you know, if I'm, I, I create it in Canva, but I do like a blank page. So I don't like use a template or anything. I just like blank, you know, blankly do it. Um, but the thing is, I obviously can't use like their clip art because it's like theirs, like they own it. So I need Emma to like draw certain things for me and yeah. I think I finished my official rough draft, which is so exciting. I want to go to Target today and buy a binder and a hole puncher and print like the entire planner out and make sure that it all flat lays and works well together. But I'm pretty excited. So the planner still doesn't have a name. I literally cannot figure it out. Um, but let me quickly show you. Okay. So this is the cover page. I have a cover. I just didn't import it. Um, Emma can do that. Um, and then title page, blah, blah, blah. I'll just do this quickly. Welcome to the planner. And I'm going to try and have this be my handwriting. Cute little cover moments. So cute. So cute, so cute, so cute. 
The first draft of the planner had so much foo-foo shit in it because I wanted that. And then I was like, you know what? I actually don't want any of that. So I took a lot of it out and now it's pretty standard and very user-friendly and I don't think as intimidating. Um, I like put so much in the first edition of it that maybe I'll make like a second edition where I can include that. But I think for the launch, this is really the direction that I want to go. So um, I have about 40 minutes before my FaceTime call. So what I'm going to do is just add in a bunch of notes that I want Emma to see. Um, and then I'm going to share this with her and she can do her little magic. Um, but I have to say, like, I'm very proud of myself. I really feel like I perfectly executed what I think in here and put it on paper. Like, I'm really, really proud of myself. Like, the, the monthly spread, the weekly, the monthly spread, the monthly review, the weekly reflection, the weekly intention, and the two daily spreads literally like came out of my head and I was like this is exactly what I see in my mind and I just put it on paper and I'm very proud of myself normally I like can't get that level of like execution because it just doesn't always translate well but I'm really really proud of myself I also really like the goals page I really love this planner and I'm very proud of it I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it good pulling those abs in now I want you to count me into the sprints Okay. okay, so in four, we're gonna be out of the saddle. In three, two, one, go. And then you're up out okay. of the saddle. Lucky you got to hear part of my training. So it's about noon now, and I'm gonna have breakfast, and I'm gonna have the same thing that I had yesterday. And after that, I'm just gonna get to work on these to dos. I'm definitely gonna go do them over on the couch, though. <sighs> Let's talk housewives. Okay, so I'm caught up on Salt Lake. You know what, Mary, I said was crazy, but why is she looking like the most normal one these days? That's crazy. And why is Meredith Marks a villain? Don't do her like that. I love Miss Meredith Marks. And I love Lisa Barlow. Why is Lisa Barlow? I'm also watching Orange County and I talked on my podcast about how I just, I don't love Orange County, honestly. It just feels like none of the girls know each other. No one is friends. It just feels like so forced. And they all just bow down to Heather. I just got to the Cabo episode, so I'm gonna probably watch that as I eat my breakfast. Um, but honestly, like, they all just bow down to Heather. And I don't know why. And I can't believe I'm about to say this, but... <laughs> It looks like Noella is like literally the only one with a head on her shoulders when it comes to sticking up to Heather. And thank God because someone's got to do it. Okay, let's go to Target and the car wash. I should honestly show. Oh, you know what? I backed into my parking spot yesterday, which I never do. But I did it because I'm a beast and can't show you the back of my car. Thank God, because it's literally so dirty. Such a disgrace. It's so embarrassing for me. That's the problem. My car absolutely hates the car wash. Investing. It thinks I'm like Reason. getting hit. See, it hates it. Every time I see a neighbor, it's always so awkward. It's like walking in school hallways. Like, obviously, you just need to say hi, but it's like, when do I say hi? Target was great. It always is. So I got a one and a half inch binder because it said that it held 375 pages, which if I do a full 365 
plan it will all fit in here and then i also got dividers because my plan is to have multiple versions of this so like my rough draft like my first edition blah 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 stuff like that i got this cord because i have to plug this in this I also learned like this year that there's so many different USB sizes. Um, I seriously thought they were like all the same size up until Apple decided to switch everything. Let's go down to my business center in my little apartment. I got a lot of it right, but I couldn't, like my brain was not computing double-sided anything. So I was able to like get it on the right side, like right and left side pages, which looks really good. But because I couldn't like double space or because I couldn't figure out how, because my brain wasn't processing what pages had to be printed on the back of what I have these like blank pages in between that are the backs of the pages. So I'm just gonna go through and paper clip them also so that this way if I need to like rearrange pages, I can so that they're not like clipped onto one another. Story of my life, but it's the next day and I'm in a huge rush. But I have a podcast recording and I also um I have a podcast recording and I just want to look a little not dead, so I'm gonna try the clean makeup look, but I literally have like if we're talking honestly like five minutes. So I'm gonna try and do this super quick. I just curled my hair quickly, so this is me combing it out. Okay, this is gonna be the quickest makeup tutorial I've ever seen because I genuinely don't have time. So, I'm just gonna do a tinted moisturizer. This is the Universal Tinted Moisturizer in S with SPF 46. And I already put on vitamin C and my daily moisturizer. Okay, then I'm going to do brow gel. My brows are microbladed, so I can't do that whole laminated brow look because you would just see my microblade outline. And to be honest, my hairs aren't even long enough. Like, my eyebrow hairs don't grow long. So, that's super fun. Okay, I, don't I honestly don't even know how to do clean makeup. I just see the trend, and I just assume it's, like, clean-looking makeup. I think this just... It new take on the no makeup makeup also it's thursday good morning party people the whole reason i'm in a rush is not because of this video podcast but the whole reason i'm in a rush is because i have to look after my parents dog and i'm not very good with dogs cream bronzer by chanel i'm just doing a little bit because my face tanner is doing the job justice enough but i'm just doing a little bit on like my forehead and a little down my nose. Um, okay, this is NARS Orgasm Blush. I can't believe we were all literally like 12 saying Orgasm Blush. And I feel like the whole trend with this is just over blushing. So let's see. That's what we're gonna do. I put it on the cap and for the first time in my whole life. And it worked pretty well. Okay, just a little, 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 little bit of mascara. And then this is just the Too Faced You're So Jelly 
liquid highlight. Okay. I think that looks pretty clean. I don't even know what clean makeup is. I don't even have TikTok. Okay. But that looked really good. Okay. I think I need to end this vlog because this is just chaotic right now. So chaotic. And I really have to go. Goodbye, guys. That's the most chaotic ending ever as well. Goodbye, guys. I love you. I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you enjoyed these work from home days with me. And I'll see you guys next time. Maybe we'll leave the house next time. Bye.